So it has finally arrived, my Ledger Nano S. I've ordered this almost a month ago and they were super out of stock and it took a while for it to be shipped all the way from France, but it has finally, finally arrived. So in this video, I'm going to show you what's in this box and why I'm buying a Ledger Nano S. This is a hardware wallet, so it's a, kind of like a USB key and it must be plugged in the computer in order to function. It can store various cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Litecoin, or Dash, and it's one of the safer options out there. Of course, I do have to say the safest option is something like this, a paper wallet, and something that you keep very safe. Never, of course, show it online, and this is just for laws, but a paper wallet is probably the safest one because it doesn't have any moving parts, it doesn't have any hardware. And if you do it in a very safe environment, you can probably store Bitcoins there forever, forever, until the end of time, or until your ink dies and runs out, which you shouldn't, you know, <laughs> just rely on buying cheap ink. But anyways, going to cover this is the next best safest option. The reason why I bought it is because I am still storing quite a lot of cryptocurrencies and storing it on exchanges aren't safe. I learned that the hard way after I lost quite a lot of Bitcoins during well, after storing it in Mt. Gox, one of the biggest exchanges at the time, and then it got hacked. Also, of course, wallets can also be hacked. So mobile wallets or computer wallets, they can potentially be hacked uh, on your mobile phone because, well, if hackers do put a virus on your phone or a key logger, they can potentially steal your wallet. Well, with those methods, with these methods, it's probably a lot faster and more convenient to use because you can use it on your go. And whilst with this method, you got to use it on, with your computer. But the advantage of this method is that the the key never really leaves your device. So it's actually signed on the device. So you must plug it in for it to be used. And also once you um, use it, it only sends the signed transaction out. The key never leaves the device, which means that it's still kept there safely on the device. And only the person who possesses the device can actually use those cryptocurrencies. So I'm gonna unbox it right now for you guys. It's nicely shrink wrapped. This was bought in I think the end of May, so it took a while for it to arrive, almost a month and a bit. But let's see what's inside. Quite excited because this is my first time unboxing one of these things. I think there's also quite a price hype right now of these, but because it's out of stock everywhere. So let's check what's inside. Okay, welcome. So instruction manual first. Definitely worth a read. So read the fucking manual is probably one of the biggest um, things out there. So, okay, so it has a little bit of manual and um, it's got, this one's in English. So everything's in English right now. It's got recovery sheet. Um, and you're gonna have to write your recovery on here. So this is the uh, in the event that if something really does go wrong with this device, you still have a recovery sheet. But losing this recovery sheet once it's, once you wrote the stuff down there will be equ the equivalent of kind of you know if you give that to someone, they can recover and make a new device. So this is something you definitely don't want to lose, and you don't want to fall into the wrong hands. This will be the equivalent of losing your La Leisure Nano S. So that's a recovery sheet right there. And of course, you write it yourself. And I've seen people who try to write these incorrectly. You got to really make sure that you write it down. The reason why you don't print these is because if on the way to the printer, some hacker stole your data, then, well, you that will, bad things will happen. The whole concept of cryptocurrencies is kind of intriguing to a lot of people because with normal transactions, the most important thing is your person. You are the most important key. So if your credit card gets stolen, you can call the credit card company and you can get your money back because there's insurance on there. And also if you go to the bank and you lost your bank card, well, you can use your passport or any form of government ID to recover your bank account. But with cryptocurrencies, it's different. There's no bank of Bitcoin. There's no bank of Ethereum. There's no bank of Litecoin. So with that in mind, there's no way of getting your credit back, your coins back if in the event that you a, lose one of these devices or lose your wallet or lose your private key. And also if you also get that key stolen from you, someone can transfer funds and there's no way, there's no insurance on that either. So this is the actual device itself. It's held nicely here. It does feel all right. Um, it feels like it's got a it's got a metal casing with the device itself inside and there's a little LCD um, panel for it. Um, it doesn't plug in directly, so you can't really plug that directly into your computer. You actually have to use one of these um, cables. So you basically cable that here. 
and then connect that to your computer. You can also have, um, there's also some attachments in the box. So you have to have a key ring if you're one of those people who want to carry your Ledger Nano S out. And it also has a nice um, strip, uh, um, was it these handle things as well? Anyways, so it does include a cable and it does connect to a USB. If you do have a Mac or a MacBook, you do, do have to make sure that that has a traditional USB um, socket for that. So overall, it's a pretty simple to use device, and I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to use it once I get it set up. But to, in this video, I mostly just wanna show you what's in the box and the reasons of why I bought it. So it's pretty simple box, manuals, accessories, pretty good. So I will give a review once I start using it and what I feel about this device. If you guys are interested in buying one, there's a link below. If you buy it using that link, you, you do support my channel and you do help me out a little bit as well. Guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about the Ledger Nano S, do put them down below. I'll, I'll try to answer them as much as I can and I'll give you another video update once I start using this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. See you next time.